Hi Capricorn, this is Shah from Charlie's Angel Tarot and welcome back my Cyber Angels. I wonder where all of you are because you are number five in the list um, with the likes. You have 39 likes and usually you're the top notch so the energy is shifting so I think everything is going really well with you. If not, I hope it will be and that you are safe and happy and please join in the live if you would like i go live on monday wednesday and friday and to those that have just landed on this channel welcome to the channel charlie's angel tarot and we have a cyber family and like i said i go live monday wednesday and friday and if you would like to join and become a an cyber angel and join the family then you're more than welcome to join in in the tea room the live sessions I give away free cards and I also answer questions that are supported by a, a donation super chat or super sticker this is your weekly reading for the 15th to the 21st uh, of June 2020 and I'm doing my nine card spread again um, with the Shadowlands and the Enchanted Dream Tarot and you've got an angel feather and a crystal um, this is the way I read it this is the querent or um, that's you or the overall energy Monday Wednesday Friday and Saturday and Sunday I used the corner cards and clarified the three or vice versa the three cards will clarify the corner cards the same in the bottom so let's get started and if you uh, haven't subscribed yet then please subscribe and hit the bell then you'll be notified when I go live or when new videos are loaded up this is the wrong card I'm going to start with I'm nattering on again and Cappy Capricorn you have the strength card so this could be the overall um, car, uh, theme card or this could be you that you are standing in your strength that all is well like I said at the beginning um, you are usually the highest of the list and now you're number five no it doesn't matter um, but um, it, I'm glad everything is going well and the cards are showing this as well because you have the strength card and the strength card means that you are stronger than you realize and perhaps now you have realized how strong you are and that you're standing in your strength well done the strength card also represents Leo so there might be a Leo uh, interested in you or you might be meeting up with a Leo Wow on Monday we have the five of swords and Gemini had this as well and the five of swords stand uh, means don't argue because this is the card of battle the card of war the card of disagreements and arguments walk away from other people's drama just say talk to the hand and when you've calmed down I'll talk to you not before then don't go there okay walk away from drama stand above it be careful what you say and what you do so that you cannot provoke anybody to start an argument on Wednesday we have the three of ones so your ships are coming in this could be love with a Leo or an Aquarian or a Pisces okay that's at a quick glance this could be passion coming in that's what you've longed for most probably and or it could be a job but your boat is coming in the abundance is coming in it can be material but it can also be passion or love wow great stuff and I don't know why but I'm hearing Holy Trinity that is what I'm hearing it's also three lights the three candles the Holy Trinity it might be significant to somebody but you are protected by the angels and the universe and the divine then you have the moon and this the moon represents Pisces and so you could be meeting up with a Pisces and I'm also 
this is also lying underneath the strength card so this could be a very strong connection a strong person somebody is wearing a mask look at that this moon is, is is drawn with a mask it's like the dark side of the moon there are things that um, you don't know so you need to do more research with regarding to a situation or a question that you have at this moment so um, I'm also seeing a lobster or a crab so it could be also a cancer but the moon does represent um, Pisces and your emotions might be heightened your intuition might be heightened or sharpened at this moment especially when we're going into uh, cancer look at that cancer because on the 21st we are going into cancer and that is an emotional sign a spiritual sign as it is water okay so be careful it might be a Leo or an um, Aquarian or a Pisces or a Cancer wearing a mask or they are withholding information that you need to know so be aware that somebody might be holding information uh, from you or somebody might be sneaky be careful but you're on the yellow brick road to the north node so you're on the right road to finding out so listen to your intuition and listen to any ideas that are new that come in okay because that is your higher self speaking to you okay so you're on the right road listen to your intuitions then we have the star you have the witch a wish Oh, a goal that's coming true again number 17 so that is an 8 again the money house and the strength out house this is number 18 9 so something might be coming to an end and you don't know about it this card also represents Aquarius now a wish could be coming true at the weekend somebody might just give you an offer of love or a an, an offer or a proposal of something and that could be your boat coming in okay now we're going to the um, guide and it's the guide in this deck but in normal decks or other decks it is the high priest the higher um the high this he's called or the shaman he's also called the shaman the high priest the Hierophant or the Shaman and it is depicted in a lady because this is the feminine deck but it doesn't it, it, it has no men but like the kings the throne is there and the, the crown is there we have a masculine side and a feminine side and actually the Hierophant is a carer and that is the feminine side and I love this deck because it really goes into depth and here it's not a priest or a pupil um, that is depicted to men it is a child our inner child so it's also representing our conscious subconscious and conscious so you need more information and you had the moon here so you might be more spiritual and trying to gain knowledge um, for for your higher self to put the um, to bring out the subconscious your ideas into the real world practice okay you might be enriching your knowledge and the higher fund also means that um, you might seek advice from a professional or from a father figure and in this case a mother figure the Hierophant also uh, represents <coughs> the Hierophant also represents Taurus so you might be meeting a Taurus you've got a lot of people in your reading <coughs> sorry you've got an air sign Aquarius Leo fire water and air so you've got all the four elements 
okay and we do have somebody might be wearing a mask and you do start off the week with the five of swords so there might be somebody that's keeping information from you and uh, that could uh, make an argument okay so be careful how you tread this week Capricorn don't go there walk away and say please talk gently and I'll listen perhaps you might need a mediator with regards to something Capricorn so that there will not be arguments but there will be uh, um, gentleness and stability and, tranqui and tranquility in a discussion perhaps you need an arbitrator with regards to a situation that could be the advisor okay they usually keep um, the the sense and the normality in a conversation if you need to speak to somebody okay this could be a uh, like I said an Aquarian uh, uh, perhaps you might want to get together with an Aquarian and you might want to talk about marriage or uh, 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 you want to get a, a, um, a contract you might be visiting an, an, uh, uh, an advocate or a jurist um, because you would or a notary public to m draw up a contract uh, of partnership for life this could be with a Leo or an Aquarius as it is lying next door to the Hierophant so that you do not get quarrels or arguments if you ever separate this could be about a separation because he he does represent jurisdiction uh, um, judicial uh, background and issues so if you want to get divorced then your wish will come true but it will have to be done with an arbitrator or a professional so that you can remain in your strength and avoid arguments you have the seven of cups here you have dreams wishes and goals you're looking into the future look at her she's looking out to the future but your dreams are coming true there you go you have made your priority list and you have chosen so now something is coming to fruition the two cards that confirm it okay and perhaps you didn't see it coming but the truth is out now because we have the judicial card here great stuff so you've done your research before you stepped into action well done you're on the right path you feel strong you are in your strength and the truth is coming out if that is your wish and you other wishes there's usually a wish in a wish that the truth would come out so that you can get married or that you can form a partnership or that you can have that house whatever or that job okay beautiful then you have the eight of swords and I'm hearing you didn't see the way you didn't see the way you didn't see it coming that is what I'm hearing with this card before I even go into the meaning of the card you didn't see it coming you didn't know the way you felt trapped you felt as if you were stuck in a web that is what I'm hearing now you see that her hands are free so take that blindfold off and I think you've already done that because you are moving forwards and you found out what the issue is or was you can if you take the blindfold off learn from that look around you not just in front of you so that you feel trapped because you have the choice to step out and take action so take the blindfold off and see what's happening around you and then take a decision and a choice and walk between the space of the swords 
there's enough room to move. Like you didn't see the argument coming or you didn't see what the argument was about but you stood your ground and you stayed in your strength but something is coming around and it's going to give you abundance. The knowledge could give you abundance to carry on. Great stuff. Something is coming to an end though because we have the nine here. Something is coming to an end. Okay? And the angels do have your and the divine have your back and we got the word divine and here we've got eight eight next to each other and again we the last card we have is the ten of cups so something is coming to an end and a new beginning perhaps you will join up and get married boom or you will uh, get divorced and be able to carry on to a new relationship a new passion happy families you've got the ten of cups a new beginning most probably reunion with family and friends happy times celebrations the rainbows here and that is what the cards are saying for you this week now the angel feather color you've got the barbie color i call it the barbie color the magneta angel feather essence of an entrepreneur well, like I said, you might be drawing up um, a partnership. Perhaps that was your wish, a partnership. And you didn't see it coming, and it's happening this week. Or and you might have a quarrel with a partner, but I don't think so. Because you are very businesslike. You could be the advisor. You know the letter of the law. The angels have witnessed your business flair and dedicated work ethic. They believe that you could aspire to be quite an entrepreneur if you choose to follow this path. You can use the color, you can eat the color, you can meditate on the color to sit down and contemplate and meditate and evaluate. For the stone we have um, the stone chrysocola chrysocola and it's a bit um, aquamarine color a bit like this the blue color it's beautiful and it's number 16 and that becomes a 7 so again luck is with you you have double luck this week your wish coming true your abundance and now this number wow nice one and the essential meaning of this is speaking your truth yes you are speaking your truth because you have found out something will become clear to you and you you can uh, speaking your truth heartfelt communication you're speaking from the heart your emotions be careful don't let your heart rule your head or your head your heart but speak with a uh, proper intonation and you are speaking from the heart and the truth will come out it will become clear so if you are going to say to somebody I love you because you are speaking from the heart and it will be taken with much more uh, focus um, and attention if you sp speak it in a way that is charming so that you can avoid quarrel and you have the right speech when you speak your truth you are being true to your soul's desire to participate in the co-creation of a better world and a better life for you and others chrysol chrysocola spirit message for clear authentic speech that arises from your heart is this the force of the conscious universe love is here for you today as you choose to speak up and speak out for you can be clear channel for what needs to be said your voice is so very important for you are a unique 
being with your own calling and destiny and the conscious universe express truth through you practice choosing your words consciously as your voice a difficult truth or speak up on behalf of someone who has felt powerless for too long be assured that because of your commitment to heartfelt communication your voice will ring out cutting through the noise today now if it's in a relationship I'm going to read you also a piece for a relationship trust and in and intimate intimacy build when you have courage to speak our truth and today Chris Sokola spirit is here for you to support you in right speech speak your truth as you seek it from the heart using words that express the very best of you don't hold your tongue out of fear that you aren't enough or don't be deserved to have your say practice telling the truth with love as a sign of respect for yourself and your experiences as you have lived them and your emotions as you have felt them claim your voice and use it wisely and honorably for many truths make up collective truth we all share and yours is no less valid than anyone else's and deserves to be heard yes you deserve to be hurt and when you talk with each other and you can tell the truth to each other then the bond only strengthens now I'm going to read the prosperity message that is if you are in business or everyday life you can apply this we often remain silent because we don't want to hurt anyone's feelings or be embarrassed but Chris Okola spirit has appeared to tell you that now is not the time to hold back the truth practice right speech expressing yourself in a loving and honorable way as you discuss your business and financial dealings speak up about what you need to desire your need and desire and what you are thinking and perceiving when it when it comes to the flow of money abundance and your own desire to experience prosperity you will be heard today at the same time recognize that any truths you hear from others are their truths and have value for all listen carefully setting aside any defensive and running into the heart of what others are saying you can learn much today if you are willing much that will help you in your quest to have a firm financial foundation like I said don't quarrel walk away from other people's dramas or if somebody wants to provoke you in a quarrel say I'll talk to you when you've calmed down and that is your reading for this week Capricorn I hope you have enjoyed it and I hope you are safe and I hope to see you in that one of the live sessions or all take care and be blessed the angels and the universe are with you and protecting you love you very much please like and share and let's hope that you're number one again next week so give me those likes and share with family and friends be blessed and stay safe